With less than a week until the next Apple event, we are going to go over what you can expect to see this Tuesday, September 12th. There are many rumors about what we are going to see at Apple's Wonderlust event, from new iPhones to Apple Watches. Let's dive into what is coming. First is the new iPhone release. Some rumors suggest there will be four new iPhones to replace those released over the previous years. The iPhone 15, 15 Plus and then the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. This will be great as a way to refresh the iPhone lineup like we see most years. Some rumors suggest we may also see a fifth iPhone which will likely be called the iPhone 15 Ultra and will sit alongside the Apple Watch Ultra aimed at those who use their devices in extreme conditions. Although a post from Mark Gurman suggests this will more likely come out in 2024 alongside the iPhone 16 range. Now back to the iPhone 15 lineup. The standard iPhones are rumored to have the notch replaced with the Dynamic Island which was introduced on the iPhone 14 Pro lineup last year. Meanwhile the 15 Pro lineup may return to having a curved screen which was last seen on the iPhone 11 Pro allowing for thinner bezels. The iPhone 15 is also expected to come with USB-C which will be great for connecting other devices and be much more convenient when it comes to sharing chargers with your friends. We may also see solid-state buttons on the sides similar to the home button introduced on the iPhone 7 although the latest evidence suggests there may be an unresolved technical issue which will prevent this from being released this year. Like previous years, we expect the standard 15 lineup to receive the A16 Bionic chip from the 14 Pro whilst the 15 Pros will receive a new A17 chip which will use 3 nanometer architecture improving speed and efficiency. We may also see an increase in RAM to 8GB which will be great for multitasking. The cameras are also likely to get a nice performance boost with a 6x periscope lens system which has been seen on the Samsung smartphones recently although this would likely be limited to the larger 15 Pro Max. For those on a budget, the standard 15 is also likely to have an improvement to a 48 megapixel main camera. Now let's move on to what we can expect to see from the new Apple Watch releases. We are expecting to see two Apple Watches released this year, the Apple Watch Series 9 and an Apple Watch Ultra 2. The Apple Watch Series 9 will likely be only a minor upgrade over the Series 8 with the same form factor and sizes meaning straps will still be compatible. It will feature a new S9 chip which will improve both speed and battery life. It will come with dual-band GPS and have support for 5G. We will also see some new health sensors including electrodermal activity and bioimpedance sensors which will measure stress levels and body composition. Blood glucose monitoring has also been rumored for a few years now although this is still likely to be a few generations away. The Ultra 2 will also be released with a similar form factor to the previous Apple Watch Ultra. It is going to have a new color option called Dark Titanium and will likely come with the new S9 chip and health sensors. Finally, we will likely see a new set of AirPods released. These will probably be a new update to the AirPods Max, but we will have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment telling us what you are most excited about and don't forget to like and subscribe.